welcome back to my channel. It is Jordan Ari here. It's been one year since I cut off all my hair and dyed it this golden blonde color. And we are back and today we are in my bathroom and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I dye my hair again. But this time I really want to dye my hair without damaging the roots or coloring the roots. Not really damaging, that's not the right word. I'm gonna be using the Cream of Nature Golden Blonde color again. I love this color, it's my absolute favorite go-to hair color. So I'm using it again. Um, it just always does right by me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna color my hair without touching the roots. And I have a big fro the other day, actually yesterday, um, I got my ends trimmed after not getting my hair cut or touched at all for one year. So now that my ends are all trimmed, I think I'm in a good space to be able to go ahead and color my hair again because I definitely want some color. It's about to be summer and you know, you just want the fun color against my golden skin for the summertime. So, all right guys, let's get into it. For this video, all we're really gonna need is gloves, hair dye, which I've already mixed up, and rubber bands, and maybe a comb. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to section my hair off into small parts. You can do them as large or as small as you'd like, uh, and I'm going to secure them with a rubber band. That way I am only dyeing the end of my hair. Um, because my hair is pretty big right now, I'm gonna make smaller pieces, um, but I'm not gonna do them in any specific kind of way. I'm just gonna part and rubber band and I'm going to be careful not to make my rubber bands too tight. I don't like tight rubber bands and I feel like I'll easily get a headache. So no reason, just I don't want it to be like super hard to get off. So I'm probably going to go around, hmm, uh, I went around twice and I'm going around a third time. I might regret that later. And voila, so I'm just going to make like these all around my head. make sure that I get closer to the root so I'm gonna fix this one make it a little bit tighter that way I can make sure I'm getting the color as close to the root as I possibly can because I want it to be close but I just don't want it to be the actual root I like the grown out ombre effect look situation what have you I think that looks super cute so that's what I'm going for <clears throat> also 
I didn't mention this at the beginning, I don't think, but I'm using the rubber bands versus hair ties because they're a lot thinner so we can get closer to the roof versus if I had a thick hair tie such as this one, it'd be covering up a lot of the hair. So not using these, using rubber bands intentionally. Now that I got these all on, I am gonna go ahead in and put my gloves on. The handy dandy gloves. And I'm gonna go in and start coloring her up. So I got my hair color. If you didn't already mix it up, mix your hair color up. And we can start applying it. All right, I'm gonna get like up close and close personal with the mirror so that I can see what I'm doing. with this one it wasn't tight enough so if you don't make your rubber band tight it will come a loose while you're trying to add the color to the end so that's definitely a mistake I made in the beginning learn from me please I don't know. I'm just kind of go like this too. With the excess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a hair colorist, guys. I'm just out here trying. Hopefully it comes out good. I'm nervous. I, I, I can't wait on you. And I initially intended to just leave them on the whole time but because on some of them I hit not the roots but like some of the hair around it I'm gonna take these off these rubber bands off and I'm just gonna kind of go up a little bit further especially because I don't think it got down as far as I'd like to just because my hair is not that long so I'm gonna go like this on them and just kind of get the color up a little further still keeping the roots dark but just bringing the color up a little higher. That way, um, when I rinse my hair out, it's not like any harsh lines. 
and you know, there's not like blonde somewhere and then no more than like a space gap where there's like a dark hair and then blonde again at the end. Definitely don't want to give that look. So just taking them out and I'm breaking through like the ends and I'm staying away from the roots. Cause like right here, as you can see, the color got up a little higher. So this is what I'm doing to improvise. Just taking it and I'm making sure the color gets up a little higher all throughout. plastic bag over my hair and put my heating hat thing on. All right, got my heating, my hat, my freaking, what is this, plastic bag on my head. Um, okay, I just walked around my house looking for my hot head for like too long. So I'm just gonna sit under the dryer and check it from time to time. See how long it takes to process and I'll come back and show you guys what we got be back after being super frustrated I'd like you all to know that I found my hot head and I put it on and I use this instead of sitting under the dryer and my hair has turned and I'm so excited and my roots they are not blonde well I mean it got to the root a little bit on some of them but, I mean, I still have like dark roots along the edges, which is what I really wanted. As you can see, this is that part that got uh, blonde on it while it was still in the ponytail, which caused me to want to like bring it down further to, to get closer to my roots. Um, in the back, it still looks pretty dark, but I'm okay with that. The ends are light, which is most important. Um, yeah. I'm happy with it. I'm about to rinse my hair out and do a protein treatment and then deep condition it and all of that good stuff so that I can maintain strong, healthy hair. So as you guys can see, I successfully dyed the ends of my hair without touching the roots. I'm just showing you guys the front, the back, and the sides of my hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.